Number 38, a novelty clock has a 0.01 kilogram mass object bouncing on a spring that has a force constant of 1.25 newtons per meter. What is the maximum velocity of the object if the object bounces three centimeters above and below its equilibrium position? All right, so basically we're asked for the velocity. Ah, let me start with black. You know I always do that, right? So for letter A here, it's going to be the Vmax. Vmax is going to be equal to square root of the force constant divided by the mass, all multiplied by the amplitude, okay? So in other words, the definition of amplitude, all right, if you had to think about a spring, you know, pretend you had a, I don't know, you have three phases basically of a spring that's bouncing, right? You have a phase here, a phase in the middle, and then you have a phase all the way at the end. Okay, and you know, I don't know why the block is getting bigger. It shouldn't be, but you know that, right, this would this block will oscillate from going down and then going back up and going down, going back up, basically. Um, so in other words, this would be considered the equilibrium position, the position right in the middle. And the amplitude is then considered the distance from the equilibrium position to the highest point or to the lowest point. They should be equivalent. So now on something uh, of this sort, Knowing that they told us three centimeters above and below its equilibrium position, we know that this three centimeters that was given to us is the amplitude. All right, they use capital X, but I like to use A. It's just easier for me to remember. So now the maximum velocity is simply just a plug in, right? It's gonna be equal to the square root of the force constant, which they told us was 1.25, divided by then the mass. They told us the mass, right, 0.01 times that, then that amplitude. Now this centimeter value has to be converted into meters, so just take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus two. And voila, let's calculate. So square root of 1.25 divided by 0.01, and then take that and multiply it by three times 10 to the minus two. And here the maximum velocity is gonna be 0.335 or so, 335, one second, 0.3, Three, five, and that is meters per second. All right, so there you go. That's letter A. Letter B now. So how many joules of kinetic energy does the object have at its maximum velocity? So what's kinetic energy? Right, this is easy peasy now. One half mv squared. So the maximum kinetic energy will be found by taking the maximum velocity, plugging it in. So that's basically all we have to do. So this is gonna be equal to one half times the mass of the object they told us was 0.01, and the velocity is now 0 0.335, and square that, and let's see what we get. So kinetic energy here will be equal to 0.5 times 0.01 times that answer squared. It's about 5.62 or so. 5.62 times 10 to the minus fourth, that's gonna be in joules. All right, and they asked that, right, for Jules. Okay, great, and that takes care of that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.